This set of wires I took out from a 12 volt 5 amp hour rechargeable battery um, that is used to power a leaf blower. I kept the uh, wires so I can understand how the charging circuit works. And basically you need a charger like this. This is not the original one. The original one is actually bigger. This is a 300 milliamp uh, 12 volt charger. And I looked at the circuit here and you have an LED which is always on and you have a resistor here I guess the resistor is to lower the voltage so it's under 3 volt so it can power the LED and also a diode here I guess is so the uh, power from the battery won't go back up to the charger here so you have two wires here that connects to the battery and you have two low wires here that connects to your motor. One here and the other one here. So like I said, this is basically more like a dumb battery charging circuit. Um, it won't stop charging. Uh, when the battery when the battery is full okay I plugged in that transformer you can see the the light comes on and that battery charger transformer outputs 300 ma actually I measured it it's uh, about 14.6 volts and 300 ma is, is not that much so it has like I said, a switch here, which is useful if you were to use this setup for something else. And I have a, I have this Epson printer motor that I took out, and I was just playing around with it, so I hooked it up. And you have a noisy fan. So. If you ever need a noisy fan, you got it. You got one here. And you can turn it off and on. So I guess if you have something that you need to charge and say if you have this hooked up to a light, you can turn the light on and off. Once the battery is full. Now it's running off just the uh, the charger itself, the 300 MA charger. If you can get something to turn your blades and this is a different kind of motor then this actually will become a generator. 